welcome back to Booze Reviews in Black and White. I'm D'Amico. This is Bane. Uh, we have some more winter beer. It's cold out. It's January. We said, why the hell not? But we got a little bit of a special winter beer uh, episode. Uh, we're going to start out with Tommy Knocker, which is out of Colorado, uh, Idaho Springs, Colorado to be exact. Um, this is their winter warmer uh, cocoa porter. Uh, <clears throat> brewed with cocoa, of course, and honey. So, uh, let's see where this thing is going. You out there Spot. skating around on the pond or something? You know, you want to take Probably. a little break in the warming house? It's a perfect beer to do it, I'm sure. 5.7% alcohol. Massively cocoa. Holy sh... This is like... Whoa! The dust at the bottom of the box of Cocoa Puffs with a little cocoa pebbles thrown in there. You know, get, get a little Fred and Barney action going on. Definitely. Definitely cocoa pebbles for sure. That used to be my favorite cereal as a kid too. I like fruity pebbles. Oh, no, man. I don't know why. I, I've never been a huge chocolate eater. Did that come out right? Yeah. I, just, <laughs> I don't know why. <laughs> Explain. It just sounded weird. That explains why you were the white girl, huh? <laughs> Probably. <laughs> Got to have some. Never mind. Mm. Uh, I'm loving this nose. Uh, it's bold. There's a lot going on there. Mm. Boy, I mean, massive cocos. Um, you are getting some of the roasted barley. Some of the maltiness uh, is there for sure. Maltiness will come through on the palate. Like tenfold. It's huge. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's what she said. <laughs> you need yeah, to calm down a little bit, I think. <laughs> no, this is, uh, this is on point. This is banging right here. Yeah. Uh, <clears throat> I would, uh, no, I wouldn't do it. Normally, I like to take like my really heavy chocolatey porters or stouts and try them over ice cream. I think this one is a little uh, lighter body yeah. for that. I think it would ruin the ice cream. But have this with a nice piece of chocolate, uh, some fudge even. Oh, yeah. You could, you could do things with this. It's got the creaminess again. Yeah, you're right. Light body mm -hmm. style. Very weird because yeah. I was expecting with the nose this to be just a malt bomb, heavy, sure. creamy, uh, bold. The body on it is just not there. Um, but it's great. Uh, it's it got is a really, nose. really good. Yep. Yeah. yeah. The palate, there's a lot going on there. You got uh, the cocoa. You got the big maltiness coming through. It finishes off very nicely. And almost to the point where it's crisp and clean, but not quite. Um, uh, I wouldn't call it, you know, a big winner, but I'm going to probably set it up as a 7.75. I think it did a great job uh, for one of these, you know, specialty style winter beers. I like it. I think I might buy it again. I'd give it a, a 7.5. Um, <clears throat> I think this is one of those beers that fellas... If your ladies aren't drinking beer, maybe introduce them to something like this. Uh, the fact that it says cocoa might get them to drink it by themselves. Uh, Can you get some nods back there? Get some nods back there. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. This is uh, this is good stuff. I'm impressed. Tommy Knocker. Tommy Knocker. All right. Moving on, we got to the Bell's Java Stout. Great. I hate coffee. 7.5% <laughs> alcohol by volume. Uh, Bell's is coming out of uh, Michigan, Comstock, Michigan. Um, I like Bell's stuff. I mean, they got a nice IPA. I know that. Or the uh, the Two Hearted. The Two Hearted Ale, too. You like that uh, one, right? One of my favorite uh, stouts, the Expedition Stout, comes from Bell's. That's right. Uh, yeah. But about the Java Stout, 
Holy Coffee McNoffy. <laughs> Was that a word? I made that up too. Mm. Let me copyright that joint. <clears throat> Definitely check that head out too. If you can, if you can see that, I, I mean, honestly, there's not much I can do here. But it is like way off white. It is just like khaki. What, what do they call it? A crew or whatever? E crew, yeah. E crew, yeah. It's just, it's nasty. And it's dark. I mean, this is, this looks bold. All right. Major coffee beans. I mean, inside of the Starbucks bag of coffee, of mm -hmm. fresh ground beans or fresh roasted beans. Uh, but it does have some greenness to it. There's there's something that's, for lack of a better term, uh, almost acidic on the nose. You yeah, know, I, that, that, that might be a little more like fresh coffee even. Yeah, you know what, I'm, I'm almost thinking like it brings to the point of maybe like a Colombian coffee bean. Uh, where it's, I it's got, that. yeah, I know you're not a coffee drinker, but for those out there who, who drink a lot of coffee... Uh, you know, test it out. I mean, sniff your coffee before you drink it. If you're drinking Colombian, sniff it. If you're drinking dark, if you're drinking French rolls, whatever it is, sniff it. And then actually try to sniff some of your beers, even some of your wines, because you're going to get some of those coffee characteristics coming in on those. Yeah. Um, not too much on uh, spirits, though. There's uh, very few spirits that will get uh, those characteristics. But definitely with this, you're talking straight coffee. I mean, this was roasted or brewed, brewed with coffee, coffee yeah. beans. Um, and that's actually one of the things, I mean, we're trying to figure out exactly what beans they were using. Um, yeah, I, I guess my guess would be Colombian. Because there is kind of like an aromatic with it as well. It's not just a, it's not a straight dark bean. There's something else going there. Mm. It's nice. <laughs> I know you guys are looking at my reaction, but I do not like coffee. Um, <clears throat> I don't mind the essences of coffee. I love the smell of coffee, which is weird, but the taste of coffee is not my thing. Um, I can get the essences out of most like darker beers, uh, heavier uh, wines. Uh, I don't mind that at all, but pouring coffee in a cup and putting it in my mouth is not going to happen. <laughs> uh, and that's exactly what I just did. Yep. Uh, <clears throat> I will give this uh, beer major props because they did, I mean, what the label says is what comes across on the palate. Uh, this is a Java Stout for sure. Uh, I'm definitely getting the Stout component, but that coffee, that Java, that Joe is right in your face. And it's like, I double dog dare you to pour me out. If I had a, a pour bucket, I would dump it. Um, but I'm a man up, because we don't booze reviews, god dang it. And <laughs> we don't mess around like that. We do not pour out alcohol if we, can't have, if we can help it. <laughs> I, I totally agree with you. This is, this is coffee in a bottle. Um, but I tell you what, there's a lot more going on here than just the coffee. If you... If you taste this delicately, try to get you're gonna get a lot going I'm on in your head. You know, what you think. <clears throat> but yeah, I mean straight coffee. Um, the maltiness is there, but it's an underlying theme. Uh, the coffee's very bold, it's very centered, and that's why I think D'Amico's not liking it, which I love because I'm gonna get to finish this bottle. He's not gonna want another sip of this so that's great for me uh, but for somebody who loves coffee if you love coffee let us know so what do you think it's good but very bold you heard it it's very bold and good so. again gentlemen if your ladies love coffee and don't drink beer find this take copious amounts of notes and let us know how they reacted when they tried it. Um, I, I, I'm not gonna say I don't like it, um, because it's, I can taste through it. I mean, it, it's well made. It's it's brewed perfectly. Uh, I think they did a great job with it. 
I just don't care for coffee. Um, but I'm going to rate this beer as it is. I mean, they labeled it as a Java Stout. Um, I mean, you got the crazy, funny little guy, the coffee cup, dancing around. He looks insane, like, holy crap, I'm hopped up in here, you know. Seriously, I got to give this, and Bane's probably going to be blown away. 8.75. Nice, I like it. <laughs> Major props. I'll take that. Yeah, again, for me, I love it. I love it. Uh, coffee in a glass. I haven't had anything this, I mean, I've heard beers boast about being coffee, cocoa, blah, 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 and just not bringing it. This actually brings the Java to the table. It says, hey, we actually put actual coffee beans in the brewing process. They did it. Um, I can taste it. It tastes mm. wonderful. Um, for me, anyways, it tastes wonderful. Um, and you also thought it tastes at least good, right? Mm -hmm. It was great. Great. Yes, we got a great. Shannon's a coffee drinker. Wonderful, so. great, and a, an 8. Very, very, very well-made beer. Yeah, definitely. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and I'll give it a 9.1. Whoa. Yeah. Good job, Bells. You did um, it again because we actually really like their uh, Imperial style, wasn't it? Uh, uh, Expedition style. Expedition style. Yeah. Fantastic. <clears throat> All right. Do you have a question of the day? I don't. Did I, did I already ask a question? Mm -hmm. I don't know. Um, Let's just make up a question. Let's make up a question. Okay. What are you guys going to do for spring break? Are you going to be stuck working like we are? Or are you one of those college kids that get to go out and oh, mommy and daddy's dying? No, just kidding. <laughs> I'm just kidding. You're what are you guys doing man. for? Uh, <laughs> seriously, what are you guys doing for spring break? Are you stuck working? Uh, are you gonna hang out, drink something special, whatever, what have you? Um, I find it funny here in Minnesota. Uh, you walk into uh, Target or any retailer, and they've got bathing suits on the rack in January, and it, it blows me away. Like, really? There's 13 feet of snow outside your door. And you've got bathing suits on sale. I don't know. I don't get it. it. It's funny, though. I mean, our demographic, our area where we live in Minnesota, like, a quarter of the people move down to, like, Florida, Florida and Arizona. Yeah. yeah. Florida, Florida and Arizona, is, exactly. Yeah. Those two places. That's where a quarter of Minnesota goes every year. So <laughs> if you think most of us are just hanging out in this cold winter, no, not most of us, just yeah. us. The old people... They get the fuck up and out of here. <laughs> They're smart. Yes, They're they are. Nuts, I guess. But, uh, yeah, well, anyway, thanks for watching. Absolutely. Please subscribe so I can shave. Splash. I'd appreciate it, but just a little bit. Actually, I'm going to mix it. Whoa. Whoa, buddy. Yeah, why not? I, I, now i got to wait. Now i got to wait. What are you thinking? Fail. Fail. Don't do that. Don't do it. <laughs>